all and welcome back to my drifting desk where I help you conquer college. Today I'm back with another plan with me video because it is already August if you cannot believe it. This month's theme is ice cream theme because you know it's our last month of summer and I thought I would kind of indulge in it a little bit that way we kind of hang on to our last little warmthness with some ice cream. This theme, I did get some inspiration from Pinterest as always, so if you guys are interested to see where I got my inspiration or some ideas, you know that I always post them on my Pinterest boards. So if you check the description down below, you can check out my Pinterest to see what I was looking at to get some ideas. But for my cover page, I just did a nice hello in a cute font and made the August letters look like some popsicles, of course, with the top of the first two pages looking like some dripping or melting ice cream and of course, pink. The next page is my monthly view page and y'all know that I like this vertical style for my monthly view. So usually I just write down 1 through 31 or however many days are in the month along with the days of the week that coincide and I highlight those weekends that way I know that that is the weekend. And I'll usually draw little arrows from each day out somewhere into the empty page and that's where I'll write in different appointments or things that are going on for the month. And of course we added some little ice cream doodles at the bottom to make it a little more fun. The next page is my habit tracker for the month. And of course since we're doing ice cream, I had to do an ice cream habit tracker. Each ice cream scoop is one thing that I'm going to be tracking this month. So on the left there's four scoops, which means I'm going to be tracking four different things. On the right is going to be my school tracker. So there's three scoops of things that I want to track for that are related to school. So going to lectures every day, going to office hours, completing all of my homework, studying for an hour, etc. And I'm also going to draw 31 sprinkles on each scoop in different colors. And that is going to be how I track each of my habits. So at the end of the night, when I've completed that habit, I will color in that sprinkle. And that way I can hopefully finish the day or the month with the, a sprinkle colored in and all of the sprinkles colored in, making sure that I'm completing all of my good habits. The page next to it, I just filled with a nice inspirational quote because who doesn't need some nice little positivity throughout the month? And it does say, don't let your ice cream melt while you're counting someone else's sprinkles. And I just think it's such a cute quote because of course it matches our ice cream theme, but it also is a good little life lesson to just kind of be aware of what's going on in your life and to appreciate what's going on in your life because the grass isn't always greener on the other side. It is green where you water it. So I of course had to just kind of tailor that to an ice cream theme and I made sure to color all of the different letters or words in a way that was super fun and colorful because ice cream is super fun and colorful. Usually for all of my quote pages, when I do insert them, Pinterest is my go-to, like I said. So if you are looking for cute little quotes to fill your bullet journal with, I just searched ice cream quotes on Pinterest and so many came up, including this one, and this is the one that I chose. And even last month, if you watched my sunflower theme, I looked up sunflower quotes and found a nice cute little sunflower quote to add to my July plan with me. The next two pages is my full monthly view and I know that I told you guys earlier that I don't like full monthly views and that is true for my monthly log. However, I use this monthly view to plan out my blog posts and YouTube videos. So this calendar isn't used to plan my events or put things that are going on for the month. I only use this to plan out when I'm going to do certain videos or blog posts and I do them in pencil because of course. I sometimes don't do them when I'm supposed to. <laughs> so this calendar is only used for those two things. There's no events in this calendar, but of course I made the top look like some melting ice cream again. And then I made normal black little lines through all of the boxes with my black fine liner. And I'm sure you guys noticed it and I wasn't gonna mention it at first, but I know that somebody's gonna mention it, so I might as well do it. But I did mess up in the headers and I did write Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you guys watched my student bullet journal spreads video, I did show you guys my 2018 quote of the year that I'm kind of sticking to and it does say less perfection, more production. So 
can't be perfect all the time and I wasn't gonna white it out and make it look even worse so I just kept it with a little blemish and that's okay. I did put a little ice cream doodle in the right hand corner to fill that little empty space since the calendar month does end on a Friday. And on the left hand side as you see that I'm doing is coloring it a popsicle that I made it look like an ombre orangey, like a sherbet kind of um, popsicle looking. And this is my going to be my to-do list, so each little section I can write things that I need to do or things that I need to get, things that I need to not forget, that'll just kind of be my notes section shaped like a popsicle. And since I have a little more extra room up top in the left hand, I am drawing a cute little ice cream truck to go along with my ice cream theme, of course. And it does say August on it because that's the month that we're working with. Duh. And I made sure to use my Crayola Super Tip Markers to color in some cute little turquoise stripes on the truck as well as the red and white little overhead awning above the window. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, <laughs> August is the month that school starts. And since I don't really use my planner in the summer until school starts, I started my weeklies on the 20th because I go back to school on the 21st. So that is why you see that I'm starting in the 20th and I didn't draw any weeklies for the beginning of the month because I don't need them. I decided to split my weekly this time into a school section and a life section. That way I can kind of keep them separate because um, sometimes my days get pretty hectic and full and I like to keep them separate so I know what I should be doing first and second. Of course, school always comes first so that way I can take care of my left hand column before I take care of my right hand column. And that is it for the month of August. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like it and I can make more of them every month. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.